This is not the view we're used to while traveling, but it could be. Plano is flirting with the idea of high-tech, high-in-the-sky gondolas. And then there's going to be a joint selection to say, who gets to be first? Gerald Posky is CEO of Swift Cities, the company that designs and makes them. But first, the Regional Transportation Council is taking applications from cities. Plano has publicly expressed interest. These are very much like um, an Uber vehicle, okay. except there's no driver. All right, this is all still very exploratory and nothing has been set in stone, but there's really only one place here in Plano that makes sense for gondolas. And it's right here in Northwest Plano. What do you think about that? Oh, that's cool. It's how to get from here to Legacy West. Between shops and Legacy West and Town Center, a gondola could connect all of them. The city has previously explored routes spanning eight miles. When you have more and more congestion, uh, you've got to get people out of their cars off the streets. Unlike a ski lift, this is a cable system. Only the car moves. And only to where you want to go using an app without stops in between. People don't like to wait, you know, very much for anything right now. They're all on demand and, and media gratifications. The video you are seeing is a prototype built for one passenger. But the plans here call for cars holding up to three to four people. And Swift says up to six with wheelchair access. We see ourselves at what we would call a district solution. So covering a small to mid-sized area, three to five miles, and solving the transportation within that district. There are other cities that have applied. They have until April 10th. Swift Cities needs a test site to set certification and regulatory standards. And cities need the help to ease congestion. In North Texas, I'm Joe Bunfunniker.